welcome down to Gang Warrenly here in Southampton. Now, it's the first fair of the year. It's the first fair of the year and I've come here for one thing, which is this bad boy here. Look at this. This is a real machine, this is. Now, it is quite tight in here, as you can see. I rest my head quite nicely against the top, which I absolutely love, but I haven't seen this in a couple of years. Literally a couple of years. But yeah, this is down here, it's Charles Cole's Fun Fair. I've actually been to Charles Cole. I didn't actually get here last year remarkably at all, which is absolutely staggering, to be honest with you. Um, because it is one of our local fairs, and I have no idea how we ended up missing it, but we did. Uh, but down here, a it, it very rare sight, the Toboggan Coast. I only came out a couple of times last year, from what I uh, believe. And of course, one of the very first ones to have a vertical lift hill. Vertical lift hill at a fair. Now I am holding on with my other hand. And round we go. It's um. It's weird. It's a real strange coaster, to be honest with you. But you just don't see it anywhere. I came down here early on the week, saw a bit of it being built, and uh, yeah, just love it. Now there is uh, other rides here, Dodgems, Twister. Um, there's a high flyer as well, so there's a there. Whee! Whee! And the Trabant over there as well, that'll be one we're going on. We're not going to be going on the Twister and other ones, I've really come down to ride this bad boy. What do you think? Let us know. There it is, the Toboggan Coaster, out early this year, and according to him, it will be out more this year as well, which is great news. Come out three times last year, we thought it was twice, come out three times. Uh, two times with Charles Cole, including down in Paul at the end of the season, and of course, the great Dorset Steam Fair. And if that goes ahead this year, I would be expecting it to go back there. But what a unique machine. So, it is quite a tight fit. It was built in the 70s. It's a chance ride one, so those that may not have seen much of chance of recent time, things like Submission, Alton Towers, that's a chance ride. Um, the old Hornet's Nest at uh, Lightwater Valley, I think that come from American Venture or, or somewhere else as well, that was a chance ride. They do make them, but they're not really in existence anymore. But what a machine it is, really what a machine. Absolutely love it. We're going to give that another ride as well today because we don't see it that often and I'm going to go on the top hat. As we look across the uh, park here, you've got a runaway train, you've got the Starflyer which is going up there. Behind it you've got the Dodgems and Twister. Quite a lot of juvenile rides as well with the Mirror Maze we see quite a lot. Lovely little fun house down there, trampolines. Uh, you've got little go-jets here as well. There is a bit of everything which is great. But yeah, this is actually going to be our next stop. Again, although it does travel with Charles Cole quite a lot, I missed it last year. I meant to go in um, Totten, because again, Totten's actually closer to where I work in Marchwood than what here is, but it didn't have this. And this is my lure today. It is raining a little bit here at the moment. It's just starting to spit and it has been raining quite badly down here. So it is a bit of a mud bath. Not that I care particularly, but again, like with a lot of places recently, I've come straight from work. Kurt is sunning it up at Fort Park. Actually, apparently it's, actually, it's worse there. But I have been at work all day and this is my treat now. Coming on the trab on now. I haven't been on this in, again, a couple of years. So really looking forward to it. Right, here we go. <laughs> Razzle dazzle. Now I've zipped everything in my pockets because I'm quite good at losing stuff on this ride. I love these. Sadly, when I went to Butlins the end of last year, they'd taken this down. So I didn't get to go to Butlins one, which I was really gutted about. Because there's just not many of them around. Ah, yeah. Of 
course, a modified one of these Starfighter, which, uh, funnily enough, I looked for in Scotland. I remember, hold on. I looked for in Scotland when I went up there. However, wasn't travelling because it's uh, based on Alton Towers for the year. So I'm looking forward on getting on to that uh, next weekend. I have heard it's not as quick as the uh, reverse time at Great Yarmouth, but it's great to see them do something different with uh, some of the rides rather than just relying on new ones. I think since we rode it as well, it's had new LEDs, they've probably been on it a couple of years, but I just don't ride it enough. It's my fault, I should come down. I should come down more. There we go. Love the cycle on these. Love the cycle on these. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. You said you can't get air time on a flat ride. They lied. They lied, I tell you. These are great machines. It's weird seeing the toboggan in the background. I wonder how it rides in the rain. Oh. Now, as we said, we just come down really to ride the toboggan today. I can't miss something like this. We're going to catch up with uh, Charles Cole again later on in the season. Um, the walks are here actually, it's a bit odd, but Twister and Dodgems wise, I won't do Dodgems about the boys to be honest. I really need to still hammer them on that. Chesington tomorrow, I don't know whether or not Dodgems at Chesington are going to count for anything, but what a great cycle this is. <laughs> oh, what a fantastic ride this is. <laughs> oh, yeah. The best. Oh. Way too cold to be going up on that star flyer in this weather. So as it started raining, you can probably see water on the lens. I apologise about that in advance. There's not a lot I can do about that. But it's a cracking ride there on what I would call a Mexican hat. Razzle dazzle. Really nice, really well kept machine. Beautiful, really beautiful. But I've got another ride on a toboggan in me. And that's where I'm going next. Right, so we have got to wait for it to stop raining and see whether we can get back on it, which is a little bit of a uh, little bit of a shame, but I do understand why. I do fully understand why, but what a beast it is. So we'll hang around a little bit longer, see what the weather does, uh, play a couple of games and things, and um, you know, there's not, I don't really want to go on the star fly, mainly because of my shoes. I don't want to lose my shoes, I've come straight from work. I don't really want to um, do the twister today. But yeah, I will be holding out to see whether or not we can get back on the toboggan.
it is considerably quicker. After it's been raining. Coming down is considerably quicker. And this here, considerably quicker, but I love it, I love it. Honestly, it's no worse than some of the coasters we got that are permanently screwed to the ground. I actually really like that. It's quite, it's a, it's a wonderful lift deal. It's a really, really unique experience. It's all in the tunnel. Um, and as you, as you go up, it's really smooth. And you come out here, the, the helix down is brilliant. It really is brilliant. After it's been raining, it does gather some pace. Yeah, sure, you know, it's a little sharp on this corner, but it's a ride built in the 70s. What do you expect? I love it. It literally gives it the character. You hold on, your little head bounces up and down. It's so well padded in there. I think it is a fantastic ride and one to cherish. Now, someone did post it was leaving the UK. That's not the case at all. It is staying here and will be out more in 2023. Keep an eye out for it. I'd expect it at the uh, Great, uh, Great Dorset Seems Fair if that's on again this year. I know there's a few issues about that. If not, you know, it's been with Charles Cole and I think it is heading to London next. So keep an eye out for it. Beautiful machine. Really feel privileged to be able to ride it. It's a great guy as well that owns and runs it. I know some of the problems they've had in recent times with uh, with getting parts for it, with charts being you know non-existent. A lot of places like Water Valley in particular and Norton Towers just gave up with their chance rides. But no, keeping these ones going is just brilliant. Love it. As we said down this end, we got the uh, Dodhams. We got their stunning twister. It is a lovely twister in fairness. It's not something um, I'm doing today, but a beautiful beautiful twister so it is a pound per token 20 to 20 pound for 25 tokens which is actually a bit of a bargain um, when you look at it so we paid four tokens for the toboggan coaster it's three tokens pretty much for everything else some of the smaller ones are two tokens it's actually good value for money if you buy more now today i did want to just come down in amongst the rain i mean you can see what the ground is like the ground is really really bad and i'm in my work stuff but i had to come down and see the toboggan coaster which remarkably actually you can't see over the fun house but yeah charles cole uh, i didn't get down enough last year in fact, i didn't get down at all last year so i'm going to make more of a conscious effort to come down and see them this year it is a short vlog we wanted to come in we wanted to ride the toboggan a couple of times we've given you that and of course the uh, razzle dazzle mexican hat as i as i always call it but there are other machines as well including the Star Flyer, obviously the Twister and the Dodgems. But thank you for joining us here on UK Theme Parks. Please give it a like, it really does help us out. And subscribe if you're not already. But we'll see you next time.